Good morning, Twisties. It is Wednesday, October 7th. Tonight is the vice presidential debates on television, and I really and truly hope that all of you tune in and watch to see what these candidates have to say. Um, I've never used this platform to talk about politics before. I don't intend to spout any of my beliefs or to um, advocate in one way or the other for any party on the ticket. Um, I do want to talk about one thing that is very important to me and is on my mind because of what day it is in particular, um, but also because of what has been happening in our country recently. Um, I am a very firm believer in the vote, in our ability and our obligation to vote, regardless of party. If you have an informed belief in, in something and you have the opportunity and the honor to take that information and make it work for you, I really strongly believe that everyone should use that opportunity, get out and vote, and let our policymakers know where we stand on these issues. I believe that is the only way that we can truly have a democracy in our country. So whether you are voting by mail or in person, please make the effort to get that vote in. Do the research, look at the different nonpartisan um, ballot section of your vote and look look up those people, find out who they are, what they stand for, what they represent, and how that would affect you in your life and make a decision based on that information. Um, that's it and that's all. That's all I just wanna please urge everyone to vote and get all of the information before you place that vote. All right, enough said, I'm sorry. I don't usually do that, but I it's just on my mind and I wouldn't be me if I wasn't saying something about it. On to the twisted information that you're here to hear about. <laughs> um, okay, hey, we had so much fun last week. We had a nice big uh, Zoom live meet the maker session with the Nomadic Knits. Uh, gang, everybody who was a part of the Michigan issue um, was there. We had such an, a phenomenal time last week. We had some really big names um, that joined us, some designers that really have a, a huge impact on our community. The Grosswood Girls were there. They each have a design in the magazine. Um, Ann Budd was a part of our group. Uh, the editors themselves joined us and we just had a really brilliant time. Each contributor had about 10 minutes to present their who kind of the about story, who they are, what they do, why fiber is important to them, answer a few questions. Um, and there were so many people that joined us. I was really impressed by the amount of people who really were interested in what we had to say. I do want to take a second to say a personal, give a personal apology to Tina Say of Tina Say Knits. I feel very, very badly. I was one of the moderators on the group, and at the beginning, we were all kind of getting into the swing of things, and. I cut her off early. She only had about six or seven minutes um, instead of her full 10, and then additional time was given after her. I only realized that that had happened when I looked up to say, okay, on to the next person after 10 minutes, and there were still almost four minutes left on the clock, three-ish minutes left on the clock um, to get to the end of that time, and that is how I realized that I had cut her off early. Tina, I apologize. It was unintentional. It was in no way meant to silence you um, and your wonderful designs and yarn. And I really hope everyone takes this opportunity and goes to tinasayknits.com. Take a look at her stuff, order a pattern, do something to honor Tina Say. And I really do appreciate Tina from the bottom of my heart. It was unintentional. I'm so sorry. Other than that snafu, we had a blast. Um, people hung around afterwards and there were more questions asked and answered and 
It was just such a really fun time. I hope that I get to be a part of something like that again. Um, it was really incredible. So thank you for everyone, all the Twisties who joined us. There were so many attendees. I, I looked down the list and I recognized the number of names, but it was there were so many of them, it was hard to keep track of. So if you were there and you're a Twisty, I really appreciate your support. That was really a great time and I hope you had as much fun as we did. All right, I know what you're here for. Club. <laughs> Club is on sale now. We are calling it the Kiss Club, the Keep It Simple Sweetie Club. Um, everything in the club is pretty self-explanatory. You get one shipment three months in a row and it's all prepaid. Um, every month you get a preview of the colorway that will be released the following month for three full months. Um, and then that following month when it is released, it's kind of like your post club every single month. So if you get, a, um, let's say you get a large uh, cake of yarn and you want just a little bit extra to finish and make this a bigger garment, you can get more to do that or another one to make a mirror or whatever you need extra to complete a project. However, every single shipment will be at least 100 grams. That is a medium cake or a classic if you're doing a self-striping or larger, okay? A medium or larger so that you can do an entire garment. Now what you see behind me, this is a tasty extra large. So you can see how big of a garment you could make if you got an extra large skein. But scale that back just a tad and that's still a very large garment for a large cake of yarn. Um, is more than makeable, more than doable to find patterns for the sizes that we have chosen for this club. Um, on a side note, we have taken your feedback and Meg is creating an inspiration board for this um, three shipment cycle. Um, it's not going to change um, your, you know, any of your minds, I don't think, <laughs> um, whether or not you would change, you would uh, buy into this club, uh, but it will maybe give you an idea of what you can expect. She um, is making the board just like she has done in previous years based on the colors that are actually in the yarns, actually represented. And um, she said that she is going to try and pull a few and say, all right, these are really, truly close to the right colorways that you're gonna, you know, close to the colorways that you will actually receive. It's just a fun little extra. She loves doing it. So she said, you know what? I don't mind spending the time on that. That will be available on Pinterest. Meg's um, Pinterest ID, I think is Twisted Meg, same as her Ravelry ID. Um, and I know she's working on it now. I'm not sure if it's public or not yet. It will be, and I'll make sure that she shares it with the Twisted Fiber Art Pinterest page, uh, biz Pinterest business page as well, so that you can really see it. Once that's done, I will put up some links to it so that you can see that. I don't think it's quite completed. She's having fun finding exactly the right pictures to go with it. Uh, we weren't going to do that. This wasn't the kind of club I thought that we should spend the time to do that on. However, she just really feels strongly that this is something that she really wants to do. And we have heard a number of, of people asking for just a little bit more insight into what they might be getting. So um, we've listened and we are making that happen. I'll let you know as soon as there's a link. I'll probably send out a separate little newsletter um, it, or it'll be in Fridays. I'm sure it'll be done by then. Um, one last note about club. Uh, we have a flash sale coming up. I'm going to look at the calendar on Monday, the 12th on that day, everything on the site is 25% off except for club. And that is not something that I put in the last newsletter. Um, I guess sometimes I just think things like that should be implied. <laughs> Uh, and Meg has, and Fawn have to remind me that, you know what, it's not. I have to say it out loud. Club will not be included in that sale, and here's why. We have priced Club at at least 30%, and depending on which Evo or or, um, 
or striping club if you get one or the other. It may be even a little bit upwards of that um, off, 30% off already um, for the club for those pri that pricing. It just wouldn't make sense for us to include that um, financially. We would not be able to uh, do that. So literally every single other thing on the site will be included in the 25% off sale, but not club. So if you are waiting to place your order for that day, your wait is over. <laughs> Go ahead and place that order so we can get it started to be processed in time so we can get it all out. Um, we do have a ship date for the first shipment and all other shipments following will be on the 15th of the month. So starting November 15th for three months, November, December, and January, um, your club shipment will go out on the 15th of that month. And that is our goal date. So the sooner you guys can get your, um, your orders in, the sooner we can get started dyeing them and skating them and getting them ready and packed up so that on that day, we can just slap a label on it and away we go. I'm really excited about this club. I've looked at some of these, well, I've looked at all of the the uh, <laughs> um, the colorways and they're just as amazing as Meg and probably some of her best ever work. So we're gonna have some fun with this. I just wanna talk a little bit about this lovely lady behind me, isn't she gorgeous? This is um, the triangle design by Nim Teasdale. I'm gonna see if I can pull it closer. I put it back really far well, so that you could see the whole thing. Um, it's a tasty extra large and can, just look at that beautiful, oh, it's the Big Bad Wolf colorway. It is such a beautiful garment. I think Big Bad Wolf is really one of our most elegant colorways that we have. I'm going to put it back so you can actually see the whole thing. But it would be nice to bring it forward, but I don't think you can. Um, it has a spine. Instead of it just being an eyelet in the center, it's almost like a little cable, but it's a faux cable. It's not an actual cable. And I think it's three or four or maybe more. At least four, maybe five stitches wide. So it has, it's really a cool design right down the center. A little different than what you mostly would see on uh, most shawls. It also is a fairly simple knit. Um, I know it looks kind of intimidating just because of its size. There you go. You can kind of see the work there, the lace there. Um, it's a mirror and it's very re repetitive. So that kind of a pattern is really great for an evolution to use. You can just, once you get into the kind of groove of knitting this pattern, it, it just keeps going pretty quickly and easily. The um, bind off is just a stretchy bind off. And when you see those little kind of like scallopy waves at the bottom, that's all just done in the blocking process. So there's not even a fancy bind off for this. It's a simple, relaxing knit with high impact lace. I mean, what more could you ask for? Uh, we did this one in the Big Bad Wolf colorway, super elegant colorway. It can be done in any of the colorways that we carry. Um, I love the way that this one transitions the silver to the copper, um, but I would think it would look really great in a bright color way too. Maybe something like carousel where you'd have the purple, uh, purple, always purple, up by your face <laughs> transitioning into that fuchsia and then the, you know, that, that bright orangey um, sunrise orange or whatever you want to call it at the end would be a really cool way to do this one. Again, it's Triangle by Nim Teasdale. I'll put the notes, uh, I'll put all the information in the notes below and in the newsletter. All right, I am off to make sure that the flash sale on Monday goes off without a hitch. There is no coupon code. You just go and you shop and you get your 25% off. Automatically it will be applied. So you don't have to worry about um, putting anything in at the end. If you shop, it will work. That is the plan. And that's what I'm going to go work on to make sure that we have no snafus. I love you all. Thank you for joining me. Go watch those debates tonight. And please don't forget to vote. I love you.